chapter of the earth uh, in the 9th standard ssc syllabus ap earth as a planetary body it's the second unit so i'll read out the textbook and explain as i go along like all planets in our solar system the earth rotates on its own axis and goes around the sun in a definite orbit the crucial words are own axis and definite orbit so axis is a imaginary line that passes through the center of the sphere that is the earth uh, it is actually at a tilt of 23 degrees so it's like this a line which passes through the complete center of the earth and definite orbit means it doesn't change it just goes around in a particular definite orbit the orbit is the path of the earth around the sun this orbit is on a uniform plane i repeat this orbit is uh, this orbit is on on a uniform plane which is called the plane of the orbit so here the crucial word is plane a plane is like a table top you know the table the surface of the table it's a plane the plane can a plane can also be at an angle so this orbit doesn't go up above or below the plane it is on a plane so it's on if you uh, make a imaginary flat surface which touches all the points of the path you know it's as if the earth is going on a table imaginary the surface of the table that is called the plane uniform plane which is called the plane of the orbit now you can look at the three pictures look at these pictures of the earth sun and the orbit which one do you think is the correct picture circular path an elongated oval path a scaled oval path a scaled oval path means sun in the middle and 1.5 cm on one side and 1.5 cm cm on the other side so actually the earth's orbit is nearly circular as in figure c so it's like in the figure c and the difference uh, listen to this carefully and the difference between earth's farthest point from the sun about 152 million kilometer from the sun and its closest path 147 million kilometer is very small so the closest path slightly oval is not fully like an egg or something it's slightly oval ellipse so closest path is 147 million kilometer and the farthest part path uh, uh, distance between the earth and the sun is 1452 million kilometer closest from earth to sun is 142 147 and farthest from earth to sun is 152 so the difference comes to 5 million kilometer which is actually very small in the in that large scale earth travels around the sun at a speed of you won't believe it 1 lakh 7200 kilometers per hour that is the reason why it travels around itself in 24 hours so you can see how fast it is but we don't feel it that is a wonder question here we don't feel as if the earth is moving so fast because we are also part of the earth and we are moving along with the earth in uniformly at this speed it takes 365 1 by 4 Uh, days to complete one revolution so our travels around the sun at a speed of 1 lakh 7200 kilometers uh, around the sun this is not around the earth it's on its own axis at this speed it takes 365 1 by 4 days to complete one revolution so at that speed so you can imagine how long it travels it takes even at that speed it takes 365 days one whole year it takes to complete one whole revolution around the sun we call this a year you have studied in class 8th 
about the energy received by different parts of the earth from the sun and how the travel of the earth around the sun causes the seasons like winter and summer so you can actually write a small essay on how we get seasons seasons we get because the earth revolves around the sun in 365 days and it is tilted so you can do this small essay it's a, in the inboxing that is what he has asked you indirectly so you can write a small essay giving your exact understanding of how two factors one the tilt of the earth tilt earth is not absolutely perpendicular it's, like, it's slightly tilted if you draw an imaginary line through the center of the earth and you make a straight line the imaginary line and the straight perpendicular line will make an angle of 23 degrees centigrade and that is the meaning of tilt so because of the tilt of the earth and because of the revolution around the sun we have seasons so that completes uh, the section 2 of the chapter of the earth ninth class syllabus of social studies next we will go to the the evolution of the earth how earth evolved you know it was not like how it is now <laughs>